that's the first time I met William, and uh, Lester Bangs had, who was a friend of mine, had taken me over with him um, to be his photographer, actually, because he was interviewing William Burroughs, and so that was the first time I met William in 1975 on October 30th, and Lester displayed this unbelievable encyclopedic knowledge of William's work, and it was an electrifying interview, and um, then Patty walked in, I wasn't aware she was coming, and she, it was her 29th birthday, and she went over to William, and then she sat down, and I, so I took this portrait of her, so mm-hmm. it was the first day that, first time I met William, and the first time that Patty met William. And so obviously, you you continued to meet with him over this really long period of time, so there must have been a connection there. Did you feel that straight away? Well, um, William gave me confidence because he was so collaborative and so present, so uh, I just kept wanting to shoot him because he was so, such a great subject. So uh, does that, that, so that's, yeah. Okay, and, and obviously you you had a real... Um, important role in photographing the punk movement so you photographed patty again and again after that um and their relationship was a very strong one were you quite aware of how william Burroughs had affected patty smith's work um you know i think that patty smith has had a lot to do with keeping you know william's memory alive because Mm -hmm. in her book patty complete she ran a photograph of um the, of mine, of William uh, uh, with the rifle on his lap and she writes about him and refers to him as the sheriff and she writes about this day that we spent at his loft on Franklin Street on her 29th birthday and I would say that Patty re- Patty's love for William has had a big impact on people appreciating him mm. In, I mean, that's I think I agree with you, yes <laughs> 